Well guys and girls, the plan today was to get that Optima battery out and see if we could do this little hack, trick, whatever you want to call it, to uh, get that juiced up and see if it holds charge. But just gone to the Golf, tried to get the battery off and my days, the battery terminals are so just corroded and uh, I just thought, you know what? We ain't even gonna try to mess that up there and in mind I've got to get to work tomorrow. That is gonna be a mission for another day. So I'm just gonna pack everything away. Clouds don't look too good anyway, so trying to have a battery i didn't want to have it inside doing this stupid little craziness so it was definitely going to be an outside job and i don't think today it's going to be the weather for an outside job here we are it is bank holiday monday yeah what can i say that just for a spanner in the works but never mind we're here we're not at work and uh, i'm sure there's other things i can find to do so on that note roll that intro let's get this day rolling Well, I've spent the last maybe half hour, 45 minutes deliberating what I'm going to do when it comes to this blooming day. And uh, I didn't want to get beaten. I've already been beaten too much this weekend. What with them blooming trainers? I thought, do you know what? I'm not going to let these poxy bolts beat me. So I found some shock and unlock or whatever you want to call it in the shed. Sprayed that on and left it. Come back. Done it again. And they've cracked off really clean. So uh, yeah, get the battery out and see if this amazing hack works. Oh, mate, how's it going? Oh, it's a freaking cleaning day. You cleaning know. day? Yeah. Ah, nobody needs those. The mission is on, everything's together. I'm gonna to do it outside, get some chocks of wood to sit the batteries on. Uh, got some real sort of cheap, mediocre voltmeter. But it's not even a voltmeter, it's just like a, a probe almost to sell, to tell me how many volts the battery's carrying. Disclaimer for video, I am a professional. I wouldn't suggest you try this at home, but according to the manufacturer Optima, this is what you would do with a battery that's not taking charge before sending it back for a, uh, an exchange. So who knows? Keep your fingers crossed. Let's hope it goes well. Let's hope we get some charge in the, the old battery and uh, don't damage my battery in the, the process because I need that battery to get it to work. So uh, yeah, let's get this hooked up. Let's get it on and let's see if we can beat the weather. Good times. Charming, isn't it? Come in your own house and you get your girlfriend like. Ah! What is that? 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 I got a funny feeling that my last video cut short, so I was saying something along the lines of, yeah, the probe that I've got doesn't work. I don't have a multimeter. I need to get the optimum battery up to about seven volts before I can disconnect everything and just charge the battery direct. So fingers crossed, everything's plugged up. Little double check, positive, negative, positive, negative. Switch on and hope it don't go fizzle, bang. So, oh, it's on. Does the battery still charging? Right, well, so that's on trickle charge. I think this is where the old, uh, a few hours later should cut in, right? On to other missions. Just need to do a tidy up in the house. Didn't really do much yesterday, so a bit of a clean down today. And uh, if you watched the video the other day where I took the amp out of the car and I said I've had this amp for ages. Yeah, that's how long I've had this amp. And the really sad thing, 
still got a box for it. Yes, I do keep everything, pretty much. So I'm biting the bullet. I just couldn't trust my schoolboy methods. So we're going to go up to screw fix. I'm going to pick up a multimeter and we can come back and actually get a proper reading on this battery and see if it's charging or if I'm just completely wasting my time. To screw fix. One multimeter, done. And a blast from the past. Absolutely crazy. Just bumped into a, a good friend of mine. Well, yeah, a good friend of mine. That's just somebody I don't ever see much. Like old school dude, man. And uh, yeah, if you're watching this, Sean, epic. Thank you very much for grabbing my order as quickly as you did. And uh, it was awesome to see you. Really awesome. I know we've been saying it for probably 20 years now, but we should really go out for a drink sometime. <laughs> like, madness. Yeah, epic. Right, back home. Let's see if this battery's working or this charge is working or whatever you want to call it. And uh, we might get back to painting the model. I was just doing that, trying to fill in some time. But I couldn't just guess work it. It was pointless. Waste of electricity and electricity is very expensive these days. Right, let's uh, get this all disconnected, switched off and all that jazz and get this multimeter out of the box and see if it says what I want it to say. Oh my God. Alright, so we're gonna just test the, the, the Halfords, the good battery, first and see what reading we get. Okay. Oh, okay, so right, so we got like uh yeah. twelve point something volts, which is good. That's what it should be saying. Let's see what this one, the Optima battery says. little dreamer right so we can put the charger straight to the optima it's showing 11 volts so they were saying anything under 10 when i double checked so anything under 10 volts and you're going to need to do that little mad trick to get it back into life but now we can just put that direct to the charger trickle charge it probably going to leave it overnight um might even leave it yeah it's automatic shut off on the charger so we're just going to boost it up then at some point probably next weekend we'll fire that in the car see if it holds see if it starts up and see if it's all good and dandy and then we'll carry on running that because that's a deep drain or deep discharge i don't know it's a banging battery and it does so much better for the stereo good times Now time to connect up the good one. All connected up. Got to reset the clocks and see. I'm going to have to put the head unit back in and settle the setting. Good time. <laughs> Get back to doing some modeling got myself a coffee afternoon is just moving on by
I think we've made some good progress for today, that's all I'll say. So close. So close. <laughs> it was close, I'll give it that. I mean, it's probably close than you've ever got. Well, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, Monday's coming to a close. Dinner's been done, dishwasher's loaded. Watching Spider-Man 2 or something. Watching the, oh, three, I've been told from uh, off stage. That's it, back to work tomorrow. Got a little bit further with the model. Done a couple of coats on it. Think it's looking pretty good. Battery's still charging. We'll have to come back and review that another day, see if it actually worked. Apart from that, guys, girls, I hope you've had an awesome long weekend. If you've had a long weekend, if not, I hope you had a good weekend and also a good start to the week. Let's see where the rest of this one takes us, shall we? Who knows what the week may bring. Apart from that, stay focused, stay positive. I'll see you same time, same place tomorrow. Take it easy.